this is a sad video to make, but um, every one of us here is too late to be a Golden Age of Piracy pirate. Um, I guess you can still go be a pirate if you care to be, but look, it's a pirate adventure pack with all the things you need to be a pirate. Flippers, fish, treasure chest, a surfboard. And there's also a parrot up top. So, um, going along with like pieces that I'm excited about because like, why else do I buy all these poly bags if it's not for exactly one piece? Um, I'm excited for the bird. I do like getting gems and the treasure chest is nice and I don't have a ton of barrels, like always getting barrels is nice. Um, I can't believe they still make the barrel and treasure chest, yeah, treasure chest piece. Nice to get those. Uh, the buoy, not looking super exciting. We got six plus, so this is an adult video for adult rare collectors. And we've got 24 pieces, it says down here. This has got a lot of languages on it because I believe this is the same packaging for all regions, which is fun. Um, components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic. Thank you, everyone. Manufactured by Lego in Billund. Very cool. Um, this is a 2019 set. You can see into the bag. It's a clear poly bag, so that's interesting. And um, overall, basically, before we open this up, this pair here... <laughs> is a marbled piece, and I don't have very many marbled pieces, uh, no factory era marble pieces at the very least, and the kind of cool thing is that because they inject yellow from the bottom and blue from the top, I think is how it works, eh. uh, there's like a green swirl pattern in the middle, so hopefully I get a really cool looking parrot, or a really, really bad looking parrot, and that's the actual takeaway from the set, I haven't really like moved around the parts to try and see the parrot yet, um, but yeah, so let's, let's do it. I don't know, I don't think there's going to be any kind of instructions in here. And if they are, they will probably be fairly limited. Ooh, I see the parrot. Um, yeah, no instructions. Okay, I'm going to hold the parrot over here so I don't, I'm not tempted to look at him until we get that far. Oh, I completely neglected this printed map piece. Um, it is pirates themed map piece. Um, I still got the bird there, don't worry. Um, compass rose with like a skull in it. Very cool. Telling you north. It also has DD. Does it have two Ds? It's weird. Uh, some landmass. There's a pirate ship up there. There's an X, an anchor. Eh, very usable um, in a fantasy setting. I would have liked to have made this as an... Is this, uh, is, I would have liked to make this review as a... Is it castle? But um, I'm lazy. And those videos take a little bit extra stuff. So um, the newer style treasure chest, very nice. It's got it's got a different back than the classic one. I know I just said that I can't believe they're still making it, but like it's still it's the same piece. Um, lots of room in there. So let's put the gems. We got two, three gems. Very cool. They're like a light blue. Um, the shark. So I don't know when they went to printed shark eyes, but like I definitely have sharks with, huh, is that scratch right through there? No, that's gotta be, yeah, look, it's on both sides. That's so weird. There's like a, like a mold line or something right through his, the back side of his eyes. You can see it in the reflection of the light. Anyways, they, um, they used to have like molded eyes on it. And I guess this is cheaper to make or something. Uh, they still have the room, and I think the body's the same, honestly. I don't know if the body's different or the same as classicer sharks. There's some rooms for studs on the bottom. You can put a, a bar or, you know, a rod piece in there, uh, and the tail is nice. And again, you can stick some stuff in the mouth and, like, nom, 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 nom. Very nice. Um, so that's a fun one. Let's make up this buoy real quick, because uh, why not... I think I'm seeing some extra, yeah, we got some extra white and red one by one round plates. I like to call those studs because of Lego video games. Oh, that spins really good. Neat. Um, yeah, so the other thing to build, I guess we're building a harpoon. Can we build two? Can we build two harpoons? Um, so it's these are the dark brown stick and lightsaber hilt so that's kind of neat you can tell that because the brown on the treasure chest is lighter 
Uh, we also have an ore, and yeah, we get two harpoons. It only shows one in the picture, so I guess these are all extra pieces. Nice enough. I'm cool with that. And um, we have three flippers, because that's nice to get an extra one. The clam. Yeah, the clam gets the it's a little piece of gold. It's cool, a little gold gold piece of star thing, and then will that? Yes, it will. Lock shut. Oh, cool. Look at that. An extra gold piece too. So that's pretty good. We got binoculars. We talked about the barrel. I like the ore. It's really weird we didn't get two ores, honestly. Like, if you were going to make a small boat, it would have been really nice to have two ores, but I guess they're trying to convince you to buy two, and I guess you could do paddle boarding. I guess you paddle board with one, one paddle. Uh, just a plain green surfboard. So, I mean, they were going for like a nautical theming, and that's cool, and like most of this stuff could work in a, um, Lego City, you know, modern day contemporary setting. So like that's cool, but also like enough of it, like the pirate um, map and I guess the treasure chest really fit better in a kind of fantasy pirate setting, you know, golden age of piracy and all that. So let's look at the bird finally. You ready? Oh, wow. Uh, I did not get very much yellow in mine at all. Like, there's none in the wings. There's a little bit on the tail. Huh. There's a little plop on the top. So I guess... Hmm. Can you see inside there? It looks to be a fair amount of yellow inside of him. So I guess they do blue and then the... the um, yellow. And, like, mine just didn't swirl very much. Honestly, um, it's about as bad as I could have hoped for. Like, I told you guys at the beginning... So also there's an anti stud and a bar spot for him. Um, I told you I really wanted a bat. Oh, wow. They're not hard on the bar. They're just loose so we can sit there, I guess. That's fine. Will it stand up? It's too heavy. Well, damn. So I've got a new dark brown barrel and a very blue parrot. Like, look at this. Like, you're, you guys are seeing this, right? There's a... just so much blue like okay there's a teeny little bit of green right on the chest coming over and like it's a good green color don't get me wrong um and there's some right there and then like the feet are yellow the one foot is yellow the other one's not and then the tip of the tail it's so weird is there is there a mold is there an injection point on the tail i'm gonna have to use my naked eyes i honestly can't see one on the tail it's so weird that there would be, um, because I'm all, the only injection point I'm seeing is this one point at the top, and I guess I don't know how all this works, so, like, whatever, but, like, he is the bluest parrot. Just a little bit of yellow. Um, and I'm honestly, I'm not sure what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a nice marbled one, I guess, but, um, it's bad. He bad. I love him. Um, <laughs> he's really... Really cute parrot to get. So, um, I feel I feel like it was a pretty lucky find in this bag. I might, I'm really conflicted about getting, oh, that's cool, about getting a second one for a better parrot, but I guess what I could do is go to the Lego store and dig through them, not order it online, and um, hope that I find one that I like differently, not better necessarily, because like I like all my Lego parents the same, just saying. But so, um, yeah, let me know what you think I should do on that. Like, should I go to the Lego store and buy a specifically good one? Or like, I guess I could look on eBay because eBay has pictures. Like if I go on BrickLink, they're just going to have the stock image and like it'll be another crapshoot um, to get a really good one. But wow, that's that's that is a good one. Like look at it, it like from this angle in the in the. Flipper, especially, he does not look like he's got any yellow or green. Wow. Amazing. Okay, anyways, I'm done for this video. Um, I didn't hit 10 minutes. Automatic video, subscribe in the middle. There, blue bird, goes over here. For a video that I've handpicked for you, you're welcome. And um, please do comment and subscribing is cool and all but just just comment and like and you know that's that's enough you guys are cool bye